G'day, this is Captain Should Have Got a Better Computer Noob, and this is the MTS 255 Revolver Shotgun. This is a standalone revolver shotgun, obviously, with a good amount of customization onto it. I've seen mods with more, but this thing is fine. It is injected into the level list, so it should be easy to find. Just find them on your Raiders and Gunners and all that. We'll get into these attachments and we'll get started. So, first of all, we've got the receivers. You've only got three receivers here. You've got the standard, semi auto, and tuned receiver. The standard and tuned uses the cocking animation between shots, which um, does make you do a little bit more damage than this uh, semi-auto receiver, which doesn't, but as you can tell, the rate of fire is so much lower that I think that going to the auto, uh, the semi-auto receiver, sorry, would actually net us better damage, even though we're not getting quite as good ammo efficiency. Now for the barrels, you've got uh, two types of barrels and three variants of each, so you've got the short barrel with the short one, just the standard, the ventilated and the silenced one. And then you've got the uh, long barrels with the ventilated, silenced, and regular one too. That silenced barrel looks really cool. I saw that in the mod things and thought, yeah, I want to chuck that barrel on. So we'll definitely do that. Now for the grips, you've got the standard grip here. That'll ha have you hold it like the... Uh 44 Magnum or the pipe revolver just within your hands like that But if you put a stock on it, you actually hold it with two hands so You've got one hand to support it under there and the animations line up pretty well on this So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out This one gives you a little bit more accuracy and sighted accuracy and aim with scopes with a good bash So we'll definitely chuck that on it also changes look of it now It's not all wooden which um, should make it a little bit lighter indeed it does excellent now, for the sights, we've got normal ones, or this one where you aim down the tactical rails. You can have actual glow sights attached to that, a short scope, which is kind of neat, and of course, a couple of reflex sights. You know what? We'll go for a short scope because I'm actually needing, probably needing this thing to work with a sniper perk to actually make it knock down enemies and to defuse a threat before they can get to us. But yeah, that looks pretty good there. So we're getting about 222 damage, which is not all that great. The standard 44 Magnum, I think, does more than that. But we'll see how this thing goes. Okay, here we are in Gunner's Plaza with our scoped and our suppressed revolver shotgun. And don't worry, there's a method to my madness. We'll be getting to this pretty soon. But in the meantime, here's what it look like in third person. The animations line up pretty well, I guess. There's a little bit of hover handing going on there, but that's generally what happens when you try to put, um, uh vanilla weapon animations over modded ones they don't usually work out so nothing to complain about there now we've got a bunch of gunners here and they're all doing their strutting so we'll just quickly come around the back of them and aim down sights when we can see this one clearly and then we'll shoot them now since we are firing that many projectiles with a, st uh, a semi-auto weapon this thing um, benefits greatly from the sniper perk as you can tell we can pretty much drop these gunners like that and the other gunners actually fell down the little hole there so isn't that uh, fascinating so we'll quickly sprint along here lower in danger now no need to sneak and we'll quickly go ahead and shoot this gunner and now she goes down because of the sniper perk defusing the threat and while she's getting up we'll just go ahead and shoot her with uh, those bullets in rapid succession which is great or the shells I should say it's a shotgun not a revolver with the uh, bullets now in terms of the damage of this thing, it is not doing all that well. Um, I've seen combat shotguns do more damage per shot, but the fact that you can shoot it as fast as you can um, really makes it uh, that much more effective, especially at close range where you can sort of defuse a threat and just sort of walk in close and take them down like that. So this is the gunners that fell down before, and you might notice that the faces look different. I've actually gone ahead and... Uh, Given these gunners an overhaul, which uh, changes some of their faces. So yeah, look at this gunner. She looks very new, doesn't she? Anyways, we'll quickly get rid of her just by missing a bunch of shots, obviously. And then we can drop her like that. Okay, so no point on sneaking anymore. And we'll use this thing without the sniper perk. And we'll go loud and proud for a second, see how well this thing does. So against that gunner, Private will be able to drop her quickly because she's a little bit weaker than our other brethren. And we'll quickly just run around the corner here and take out this turret. Now, I've gotten myself into quite the pickle at the moment because not only do I have um, only five rounds in a mag before, I, I don't know, quite a lengthy reload, we're also surrounded by a lot of gunners there. So we're going to have to do a little bit of VATS exploitation. We'll go over back to our sniper one and hopefully drop them with a little bit of the sniper perk. And that is definitely a good way of uh, crowd controlling with this weapon. Alright, now we're in Nerd Rage. I think we've just collided that kill there. We'll quickly drop the rest of these, aim for the head. That seems to be able to get them good. That one's almost dead. We'll get her with a gun bash when she comes up. 
And in terms of killing this legendary gunner, can we finish off with a crit? Probably not at this range. Oh, yes, we can. And just a gun bash on you, and you're dead now. Great. Alright, so we're doing pretty well. We've got a little bit of our health back thanks to Nerd Rage and killing stuff, so we're back into it now, and hopefully we'll be able to drop enough enemies to actually sort of uh, keep the whole thing going later. Also, that Gunner Commander looks uh, very new, new face there. Also, your animation's bugged out for a second. And there we go, we've got a little bit of our health back, but not quite enough to get us over the threshold of 20% where we would actually be able to use Nerd Rage again. But that's fine, we'll switch over to the unsuppressed one now. The uh, reflex light on this makes this a little bit more wieldy to use in Gunners Plus, so, so, so that's good. Quickly just crit you, because I'm sick of your nonsense, thank you Vats for that very inappropriate camera angle. And now we can finish off the rest of them. So using this unsuppressed, oh god, that's the damage over time weapon. Pop a stim pack, pop the emergency stim pack, we won't be able to survive. Yeah, she picked up Bridget's gun, which leaves a bit of damage over time, so there's probably no way I could have survived that. But now the combat is now boring, because I've got a full health bar again, so we'll just breeze through these guys. That's only a conscript with the worst man bun I've ever seen, so I'll get close and personal with him. And now he is dead. And now we're to finish off the rest of these gunners, we'll switch over to our suppressed one, because that does a little bit better damage. Also, oh, I wanted to push you off for a second, but I couldn't do that. We'll just quickly get up some criticals on these guys, because, yeah, why not? Why not? These guys are tanky enough, and I'm sick of their faces. Also, you haven't changed for some reason. The legendary gunners don't seem to change, which is kind of interesting. Maybe they're like the gunner veterans that have been there since the start, yet have escaped Captain Noob's wrath. Right, quickly take out that turret. And the last one, and that is it for the revolver uh, shotgun in Gunners Plaza there. A weapon of inferior design with its revolver thing, but you know what? It did pretty well in Gunners Plaza. We've got it um, outfitted for the best sn use of sniper and sneak perk, so we made it work pretty well. Alright, we'll move on to something else. Okay, here we are in Felons. It's a pretty good place to test shotgun type weapons because it is a very close quarters environment. But unfortunately for me, this thing isn't quite as powerful enough to drop these guys without the use of the legendary effect. And only having five uh, shells in its little cylinder thing is not going to help us out a lot when we're trying to take down these guys because they've got a lot of health. So we'll get started with the sneak attack criticals here just so we can uh, hang on. Nah, you're getting critted in the face now because you're sitting behind something that I can't fire through. So we'll just quickly try to get these guys killed with sneak attack criticals for the best efficiency there. But even with all of the sneak attack criticals, we're taking about five or six shots to bloody kill the bastards if we're decently accurate. So it's going to be a it's gonna take a long time between reloads if I had if I didn't have the legendary never ending effect on to actually kill these guys. So that's why I've actually chucked it on. Alright, so the next Super Mutant Warlord's usually around here. He's doing his walking animation, that means he is uh, far from being in caution. Also, we almost nearly got detected there for a second, don't need to worry about him. Although we can pretty reliably hit him from here, which is kind of interesting. You know what, I'll test that out. I think we hit something in the way there. Uh, what if we crit all the way from here? Can that kill him? It can too, that's really interesting. So the uh, the shell or this pallet grouping on this thing must be incredibly small when you've got it with the long barrel and the scope, which I guess might be a little bit um, realistic, but I think that I have more of a spread than that, so that's kind of interesting. If I fire at a metal surface, can I actually see? Yeah, they're basically all landing in the same spot, which is... Um, bizarre so it does turn this thing into more of a sniper weapon so yeah captain noob was right for chucking on the uh scope under this i guess just make sure you're firing in the scope aim to actually get these things all on target as you can tell there that all of the um hang on we just got to drop these guys before they see me because they'll transfer their detection under their super mutant brethren so we'll just make sure we don't get spotted by those guys come on Run through the door I'm pointing at. Got to make this easy for me, AI. All right, there's the old mate Warlord. We'll quickly drop him and miss several times, even though I'm pretty sure my aim was true there. Maybe there's a little bit of base spread on this, but it seems to be pretty consistently great when it comes to doing this also. Does my sensitivity slow down when I'm aiming at things? That's kind of weird. I've never noticed that before. Maybe there is a little bit of soft aim assist in this game. Anyways, we'll jump up to here. 
and we'll see if we can't drop this Super Mutant Warlord with one Sneak Attack crit mixed with a Vats crit. Well, we can get in with the follow-up shot there, so packing plenty of power there, and it looks like the Mysterious Stranger will come in and steal that kill in a shower of caps in slow motion. I would skip all of that nonsense, but you actually can't, so um, we have to just sit through that bullshit. Now, okay, so there's usually one up there. There he is. We'll just quickly zero in on him, getting about 80 damage per pallet with this thing with sneak attack critical, so a respectable amount of damage, very nice there. And the one in here, we'll just quickly drop him. Come on, come outside, would ya? Alright, back into hidden now. We've got a little bit of breathing room to sprint to the next dudes, so we'll do that. Hop over this, and back into crouch mode. Now, that's... I've killed the brute that's already over here, and that other super mutant warlord doesn't seem to be too privy to my location. So you know what, we'll just run in here, and you get to see how long it'd take to actually kill these guys without the use of sneak attack criticals with the never-ending effect. Now keep in mind that every five shots of those things, I'd have to stop for about a couple of seconds to reload, so I'm taking these guys out without the use of sneak attack criticals and the, or the never-ending effect would take bloody ages, and that is why I went the sneaky way. Uh, but you know what, I think that is about it for this thing. I don't think I need to test it on any monsters. I've got a generally good idea of what this weapon can do, what its capabilities are. And you know what, it's not a bad starter weapon, I guess. If you pick this up early in your game, you might get some good use out of it. But it is quickly outclassed by better vanilla game weapons. So you may not be using this for all that long. So if you'd like to see this thing in your game, be sure to check out the description. I know it is definitely on PC. And if the modder is worth their salt, they'll probably port it onto Xbox One. But don't, um... Don't spam their inboxes. Can you port this? Because that usually doesn't make them want to port things because um, it annoys them a great deal. Thank you for watching, guys.